Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to Q&A Saturday. Q&A Saturday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I answer your questions about a variety of subjects, usually centered around the next big update for Minecraft console, but with a lot of other random stuff thrown in there. And today, I'm going to be answering all of the questions that came in both from last week's Q&A, but also from Twitter. I did one of these, uh, you know, things where I tweet out saying, want to ask questions? And here are some of the replies I got to that tweet, as well as last week's comments. If you want to leave any for next week's Q&A, leave them in the comments of this week's video, or follow me on Twitter and wait for another one of these things. But with that said, I hope you all do enjoy this Q&A. If you do, like it, let me know because it helps out the channel out and let's know you do like Q&A Saturday. It's one of my favorite series to record and as long as you guys want to keep seeing it, I'll keep on making them every week. So with that said, let's get straight into the first question which comes in from Ashvir Singh, which is a TU41 and he asks, will there be any features in TU40 that are not in any other version of Minecraft? So what he's basically asking, is there going to be any exclusive features in TU40? So besides these small exclusive features we get every update as kind of like a workaround for the console, which is always an interesting thing, I don't think there'll be any direct exclusives, but but I think there's a higher chance in this update than there has been before because you got to bear in mind that the update team has been working on you know whatever's coming right now for the last I guess like seven months now and uh, for two of those months 1.9 wasn't out on the PC so either they were doing nothing either they were working on snapshots or they might be working on something exclusive for console that exclusive thing for console could just be optimizations it could be something more exciting but still there's a chance we'll be getting something exclusive I'd put it something low like five ten percent but still there is a chance we'll get exclusives in this update and that sounds pretty exciting to me so yeah Will there be any exclusive features? Probably not, but there's a slightly higher chance than normal because that is their end goal for the console. So, yeah, with that said, let's move on to the second question here, which comes in from uh, the Dragon Slayer 1234 on Twitter, who asks at IBX Toycat, I'm expecting that you are making your video in the morning. You're kind of right here. It's like 12.28 as I'm making this. So like just past the morning, but close enough. Anyway, so what did you have for breakfast? I had uh, lobster crisps for breakfast. I got them from my munch pack, which is just random snacks from around the world. And uh, basically, yeah, the lobster crisps didn't take like lobster at all. They tasted like paprika, which is amazing. So yeah, I just had some uh, bland, but amazing tasting crisps. I don't know how they can be both those things, but it was that. And uh, also what country will you go to? I assume he means next here. And I'll just, uh, I'll, so what country am I going to next? Cause it doesn't really make too much sense otherwise. What country am I going to next? Well, confirmed is Germany in two weeks. But uh, I recently got an offer from one of my favorite airlines, Norwegian, that if I go on 10 flights in like six months, they'll give me a free flight to anywhere in the world, which sounds pretty good. And it's like, well, I'm already going on two, might as well do more. So yeah, that's something <laughs> I might be ending up like going on a whole bunch of just random flights all over the place just to try and get that free one. But yeah, uh, wh where are I going to next confirmed? It's definitely going to be Germany in two weeks. So yeah, exciting times if you ask me, because I always like, I love Germany, mostly the food and just the fact that it's kind of like, you know, the, the UK in a ways, which sounds like a weird reason to like somewhere but that's why I do and also LA is going to be there for mine kind of course so anyway let's move on to the next question which comes in from Hawk D man or maybe it's Hawk man like someone who was Hawk past tense anyway they say hey toy cat what is your favorite type of car and what car do you drive great videos keep it up so thank you very much Hawk man I will try to keep up with the videos uh, and um, what type of car do I drive I do not drive a car I don't drive oh actually um it, in the UK like driving it's like really common but not like a hundred percent of people do it like I imagine is in America uh, yeah I, I can't actually drive at all and in the part uh, you know near an urban center like London like Birmingham for instance you actually don't really need to drive in the UK it's like it's like in New York for instance like most people don't drive there because the public transit is just so good admittedly it means it's really hard for me to get anywhere remote but uh, it means that if I want to get somewhere I can do it for cheap inexpensively and while I'm on like the train or whatever I can you know read a book write a book I'm, I've never written a book on a train but I could if I wanted to and uh, yeah that's uh, I, I don't actually drive but my favorite type of car if I was going to drive like if I was going to and learn to do all that sort of stuff. It would probably be like one from like racing games I played when I was younger because I used to really, really love racing games maybe like seven, ten years ago and uh, yeah, the 350Z, uh, the Nissan 350Z, that is the car I'd probably drive because it, it still looks cool to me just because ten-year-old me loved it. So uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the car I would drive but I don't drive because it's not really necessary uh, living so close to London. But with that said, let's move on to the next question which comes in from Blingmeister21 who asks, what is your favorite block and if you could add anything to Minecraft, what would it be? P.S. I love your videos. Thank Thank you very much, Blingmeister. Uh, but what is my favorite block? And if I add anything to Minecraft, what would it be? So my favorite block, I go back and forth on this one so much. I really love the prismarine brick recently. I cannot even describe why. It's just, you know, every now and then a texture is just like, oh yeah, I want to use that some. And prismarine brick's been like that for me recently. But yeah, if I add anything to Minecraft, what would it be? Uh, it's got, it's got to be the llamas, right? There's, there's, there's no way around this one. Uh, it's actually been hinted that there will be llamas in Minecraft. I mean, it's the tiniest hint ever. But Jeb put out a poll saying llamas are alpacas, llamas well one, and I'm just saying chance we'll see some llamas in the future. I mean, it's 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 still it's, it's still like hanging on to like the finished thread. But yeah, llamas would have to be my 
one thing. Because you've got to think, like, llamas and alpacas, whichever one, llamas can be like a rideable mount, but also spit at people, or they can be, you know, rideable, but you shear them too, or they can just be, like, rideable, but really slow, but have a lot of stuff. There's so many options you can use for, uh, for llamas, and I think they're pretty great in that way. So, yeah, more mobs would be the easiest thing, and if I had to pick one mob, it'd be the llama. So, yeah, moving on to the next question here, which comes in from uh, Meow Cow. <laughs> nice name, by the way. I like the rhyme. Uh, anyway, they, they, or he says, he made a lobby on the Battle minigame. Was there a video on it? Yeah, so uh, I know a lot of people don't watch the Let's Play, but the Let's Play is where I've been doing that uh, for the last few weeks. In fact, next week's Let's Play, or the next Let's Play will probably be on that too. Uh, yeah, basically, I, I've been making it in the Let's Play world because it's been really, really fun. I, I've been enjoying it, and uh, if you want to see me slowly get there, I'm about 50% done now, I'd say. Uh, you can watch the Let's Play to find out. I know, and the Let's Play is just such a different format. I don't blame people for not watching it, but if you want to see me talk about Pokemon and uh, build stuff and maybe even talk about, like, I don't know, the universe, you can you can do that in the Let's Play, which is every single Monday at the usual, like, late video time. So, yeah, with that said, let's move on to the next question. I got to self-promote myself in that one. Isn't that great? Uh, the next question comes in from Stuart Ross from 4J, who asks, at IBX Toy Cat, what did the llama say when he got kicked off the farm? He said, I'll pack in my bags. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to throw that one in here somewhere. Then we go to the next question, which comes in from Stephen Seagroves, who asks, At IBX Toy Cat, do you think they will do something special for TU50? So, I do not think they'll do something special for TU50. They might coincidentally do something special, but the thing about title update numbers is it doesn't seem like it's significant to them, because if they have to make a bug fix, they don't have to move around the update plans. Like, the reason they never tell us well ahead of time, oh, this is called tu 52 it's because you know they have to shove updates in there and the update system is just how many updates there have been it's not like pc where they can have major and minor version numbers so although minecraft 1.10 for instance on pc is kind of a milestone uh tu50 kind of isn't because it probably will just be a bug fix it'll probably be this or that and yeah i don't think they'll do something special uh they might try and plan it but it means they have to work out that there won't be bugs which is a big you know kind of ask to make so yeah with that said this means the next question which is also about the update team and they ask at ibx toy cat why is it taking a whole year for the update team for at least one update and at first yeah i read this and i'm like geez yeah that, I, I i you know you forget the whole like the update teams really hasn't done anything since tu31 last december so what's the deal there so uh i think the deal there is that it, they're either hopefully working on something big but also you gotta bear in mind even if it's just minecraft 1.9 which is a really big update by the way it took the pc developers i think it was from like october of 2014 to february of 2016 that's a year and a half just to make this update even if they can do it in like 11 months that's still 1.5 times as fast and i imagine we'll get other stuff alongside the 1.9 stuff if this if, if, if this comes out and it's in December it's like oh yeah here's half of 1.9 that is like you know right worth material just like what have you been doing but I imagine we're going to get a lot in this update at the same time and I think it's going to show that again the console guys just work significantly faster than the PC team and that's the hope if it, you know if it goes the wrong way and it is just a tiny update then obviously it's going to cause some problems but I think it is going to be big I think it's going to be worth the wait especially if you're looking forward to the end dimensions the new combat stuff like that and I think the fact that it's going to change uh, um, you know, battle mode is going to be really cool too because it means there's kind of, uh, you know, not only is there going to be a fresh mini game, not only is there going to be a fresh batch of content, but also the current mini game battle will be interesting and changed and stuff, which I'm, I'm looking forward to in a way. So yeah, with that said, let's move to the next question, which comes in from Inky S5000, who asks at IBX Toy Cat, do you like rugby? This was a really random question, and I figured I would answer it just because, uh, you know, but rugby, if you don't know, it's, it's a British sport where you like, uh, it's kind of like American football, but without padding, I think is the ba most basic way to say it. But yeah, I used to really like rugby when I was like 12 to like 13, 14 and the reason for that is because if you're like willing to just go in there and tackle people like crazy because you do it like full body, one it's probably like horribly dangerous for you but two, you can like be really really good at it. All you have to do is be willing to like attack people in a way that like most people are uncomfortable with and you can do really well in rugby. So that's why I liked it. I really like like learning little like vulnerabilities in games whether it's video games or real life and uh, yeah I found that people aren't willing to attack each other in rugby so if you can, you, you can go and win some stuff. So yeah that's it, let's move the next question here, which comes in from Sword King 90 who asks, IBX Toycat, what would you make? What would be another video game series that you would make videos off if Minecraft was no longer a choice to choose from? So if for some reason Minecraft just stopped existing tomorrow, you know, there's a big like Minecraft EMP, and suddenly, you know, it turns out we were all dreaming this whole time. One, that'd be pretty strange, and uh, you know, let's 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 just let's not question the why of this. But uh, two, uh, what would I actually do? Well, my favorite other videos to make, not only the history of series where I cover stuff like, oh, the history of the Wii U. I've done some Minecraft ones too of course uh, but I, I would love to make more of those and also more just like general game content so like oh yeah here are the five like I really like making the five worst PS4 games or five Xbox One secrets I like making these videos about 
general gaming stuff, and I want to make more of those anyway. So yeah, um, what would, would would I do in that case? I'd probably make more general gaming videos combined with like what uh, game I'm playing at the time. But I'd like to make more gaming general gaming videos anyway, because I think it is cool to know like oh yeah. Here's why the PS4 is pretty cool, and here's why the Xbox One's pretty cool. Oh, also, here's, here's like the worst games that have existed ever. I, I think that's pretty useful, and expect to see more of those in the future, I guess. But with that said, uh, that is the end of today's Q&A SAS day. That's all we have time for right here. Well, it's not we have time for. It's all the questions we have <laughs> uh, written down here anyway. I hope you did all enjoy this week's Q&A SAS day. If you did, like it and let me know. It helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you like it, all those previous words. Uh, share the video if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Um, there's actually a question I remember picking out that isn't in here. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just like answer in like five seconds. Someone asked like, why don't you play Nintendo games? Because because Nintendo are evil. There we go. Easy as that. So with that said, uh, <laughs> that's going to cause some controversy without explanation. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I will see you all next week for another Q&A Saturday. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments as well as all the questions. And goodbye.